If a king moves, the video ends. Castling doesn't count. Day 50. End my misery please. You know what? I normally don't take on challenges that are too easy to accomplish. But this time, just for this guy, I will take on this challenge. And let's change it to castling also counts. I don't have anything else to say. Let's find an opponent. We get a 248 from Vietnam. E4. So in order to prevent his king from moving, I think I need to keep my opponent busy, and then checkmate him in the middle of the board. Therefore, d5. He takes d5. c6. d takes c6. e5. c takes b7. Very aggressive. Bishop takes b7. f3. Not very aggressive. Bishop c5. Bishop b5 check. Knight c6. Queen e2. Very aggressive. But who cares anyway. Bishop takes g1. If he can take my bishop with his rook. It means his king won't be able to castle kingside anymore. F4. Okay then. Bishop back to b6. Even though he didn't take my bishop, he's still unable to castle. So it's actually a win-win for me. F takes c5. Knight e7. e6. Very aggressive. So I'm pretty sure the engine really wants me to castle in this position. But of course, that is against the rules. So I guess. F6. I'll use his pawn as a shield for my king in the middle of the board. Bishop takes c6 check. Bishop takes c6. Queen d3. He's offering a queen trade. I think I still can checkmate his king without a queen, but it's going to be hard to prevent him from moving his king around during the process. Therefore, queen c8. h4. Again, very aggressive. Taking this pawn should be the best move, but it will result in a check, which may cause him to move his king. So I guess, Bishop takes g2. Rook g1. That blunders a rook. Queen d7 check. That blunders a pawn. But after queen takes d7, e takes d7, I'll have to move my king, which makes me a fool, for ending my own video. And there is no other way to resolve this check without moving my king. Are you serious? Okay. It's fine. Queen takes d7. There is still hope that he won't take my queen. I hate this guy. <laughs> 